keep it keep it safe for one turn. Oh, it has ally switch. Your sand rush with ally switch. Okay, cool. Yo, what is up, guys? Zorin here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Hope everyone's doing well. Now today we are bringing you a team with Hammerot. Not Samurott, Hammerot. Why is it called Hammerot? Because it's Hosuin Samurott. Yeah, that's going to be the uh, the showcase mod here because the rest of the team is pretty much very scary. And we'll just briefly explain each one and then get to Samurott. So yeah, we have Choice Bands Arcanine here. Obviously, you guys already know in the Regulation F format, Arcanine was actually dominating like crazy. And this was a, a format that had Urshifu and Bluttermane. So you can already tell that Arcanine is going to be very, very popular in this format. Rillaboom obviously is going to always be popular. It's a very good Mon. It's got priority. It's got really hard hitting moves. Grassy Search makes his grass moves hit even harder even through resisted so you're gonna be seeing that a lot goldengo obviously going to see a lot of that as well the nasty plot variant the choice pack variant you can name it this one's the, the dragon terra nasty plot variant the bulk, so it's gonna be a very bulky one we've got ursa luna here which i'm assuming is going to be the fast bear i could be wrong because i mean that's the problem with this yeah it's, it's it's a fast bear 172 faz bear i guess you could call it right faz bear <laughs> but yeah it's a it's a fast bear to kind of take advantage of tailwind as long as they don't have tailwind so yeah we got the whimsicott here as well with the standard set with encore tailwind moonblad and protect i'm not really going over their moveset just because they already you guys should already know what these bonds do if you guys don't uh you'll see what these bonds do but just look at their movesets and they're just know that they're very common and that's why i'm not really going over it because i've gone over them a million times and you guys should already know what these mons do uh, with that said, though, Samurott, though, we don't see very often. And this the, the cool thing about Samurott, the Hisuian version, is that not only is it a water dark typing, but it gets its own signature called Ceaseless Edge. And what Ceaseless Edge does is not only is it a, a move that gets boosted by sharpness, which increases um, sword moves sla or slashing moves by, I think it's like 50%, but it also puts down spikes on the enemy team, which is really nice. So you usually don't see hazards in VGC, but because it's something that automatically happens when it's dealing damage, it's actually really strong if you can get it off with Samurai. And then you've got Aqua Quadra and Secret Sword here to round up. It's it's um it's moveset because Aqua Quadra and Secret Sword are also boosted by sharpness. So it's just very, very nice to have. So yeah, this is the, this is the team. We're gonna see what it can do. Hopefully we can use Samurai a lot because that's that's who I really want to use in this in this team. But with that said, let's just get straight into it and see what this team can do. Uh, before that though, Rento and Pokebase will be in the description below and make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want more VGC content. Because I've noticed that not a lot of you are watching my VGC content anymore. You guys are watching my Poke Chess content more. So yeah, it would help a lot if you guys would start watching my, my VGC content again. But anyways guys, I'll see you guys in battle. Let's see what we, this team can do. Okay, we finally found a Regulation, <laughs> regulation H team. And it had to be a uh, one of these teams too. Yikes. Big yikes. Yeah, it's end it ended up being this. Okay. Fine. I feel like I just go these two, honestly. Seriously, the, the problem is I need to bring Hammer out, right? And I want Tailwind. But I need to bring Hammer on, but I want to bring Harkonnen. Okay, well, we're going to bring um, Samurott instead. <laughs> I want to bring Harkonnen. This Harkonnen is just so strong. But I'm going to bring her Saluna. The reason why I'm bringing her Saluna instead in the front instead of um, Harkonnen, which is really good into the... Honestly, Harkonnen could have been okay here. But I wanted to bring her Saluna just because I can, I can fake out. If he goes for the the terrifier, yeah, exactly what I expected him to do. He goes for the terrifier, so be it. Let's see if he does though. If he doesn't, I lose turn one. But most likely, he's, he's gonna go terrifier. <clears throat> so you know what. I'm gonna Blood Moon the living heck out of this. I don't, well, Earth Power actually just one shots, right? Since it's going to Terra Fire. And I'm just gonna fake out. 
He actually protected. Okay, he's smart. Wait, he's not. Oh, he's not specs. We ran. We ran into the one guy not running specs. Well, what do you know? We ran into the one guy not running specs on his uh, dude. Fantastic. <laughs> the one guy not running specs. Oh man, seriously? Oh god. And this one runs U-turn instead of... If we had higher horsepower, this would be so much better. We ran into the one guy running not specs. That's fantastic. I don't think I lived this, honestly. I think we just lose, honestly. But just in case, I guess. We're terrestrializing, that means he's not terrestrializing. What is he doing? I thought Terra Fire would for sure just KO me here. There's a sunny day, he's definitely just going for eruption. I'm really hoping this is enough to just... No, oh, that's definitely more than enough. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rillaboom, saving us. This guy not running specs for... For reals. Man didn't run specs on his, uh, on his dude. That's crazy. That he doesn't run specs type... We run into the one guy not running specs type version. Or Scarf, even. Because my whole plan was to just fake out. Because they're always specs or, or scarf. We just and matchmaking just likes putting me into into the guys that don't run the usual stuff, just to mess with me. At this point, I need to get used to it. He is faster than me here, though. That is something to uh, note. He isn't he faster than me? I don't think this bear is fast enough to deal with, uh... Yeah, it's only 94 speed. I don't think... I'm pretty sure it's slower than this Tyranitar. I know they're under Tailwind, by the way. I'm just... I, I, I'm thinking of protecting. But a Rock Slide to the face is just gonna hurt real bad. Which makes me wonder what the heck do I do here. I think I just switch out into Whimsicott. He hasn't terra either. Yeah. We're gonna switch it to Whimsicott cut and see if we can get a uh, a tailwind of our own. But if not, then I think we just go GG, go next. Because we're wasting a lot of resources. And that was really my only play into the Lilico. Okay. Earthquake. I mean, you you do realize there's a grassy terrain, right? I'm cool with that. Rock Slide would have been the actual play here. You're, you're literally Rock type. Why would you go for Earthquake, buddy? That makes no sense. Uh, I'm gonna try and Blood Moon this slot and go for an Encore, uh, uh, a Tailwind of my own. And then we just go into uh, Hammer Rot. I think it's fine. I just need Tailwind here. He has to be switching to Rock Slide here, right? Some people run Earthquake and they don't even know that gra what Grassy Terrain does. Oh. Did he try to Encore my Whimsicott? That's the only thing I could think of. Oh, we're faster than Tyranitar too, okay. That's huge. That's actually a big, big one. All right, Evan. You made this thing faster than Tyranitar even under Tailwind. And if they're Tailwind, okay. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Now he rock slides. That makes like, no sense to me. Doesn't even KO. So that's funny. But yeah, we wanted to get rid of his Whimsicott just because now we have the, Terra the, <laughs> the Tailwind support and they don't. So I think that's pretty good. Ooh, that's what's in the back. Okay, fair enough. I honestly don't know who's faster out of these two here. 
Like, Samurai's 137. So he could be faster. I'm gonna go for the Earth's power on this slot. I'm just gonna protect. Keep it... Keep it safe for one turn. Oh. It has ally switch. Your sand rush with ally switch. Okay. Cool. Well, that did so much damage. I'm, I'm cool with that. <laughs> ally switch on, on, on this thing? That's kind of funny. I didn't think it, I didn't even know I could get that. Did we get buffeted. Fine by me. Now the grassy terrain dips, which is fine. We're just gonna go into Red Boom here. Get back our grassy terrain. And we're gonna go for fake out plus um boom blast here. As our as our Because if he terras, at least we know what Terra he is, because he hasn't terra Unless I'm going nuts. Okay, why do these people never Terra? Do they, are they just allergic to Terra? Terra Jesus Christ, why would you do that? Okay. Oh. Thanks, I guess. Oh, it's weakness policy. Ah. That makes sense. Well, now I have to KO it somehow. Oh, I have to KO it now. Tailwind is still up too. Tailwind is 100% still up, right? Yeah. I don't know if, uh, if this will KO it. And he's not terrestrializing, that's the problem. Which is silly of him. I'm going to go for Woodhammer here, actually, and I'm just going to protect. I want my Tailwind back up. Perfect. He went for an attack this time. But we have Tailwind, so we're going first for sure. Get back. See ya. Get this hammer down. Bring the hammer down on the Tyranitar. I'm definitely going to just KO it here, like I'm not going to just allow it to go down. With Terra to flying, I, I at least had Hammer Rot in the back. Hammer Rot's not going to do anything by the way. We're not getting to do, we're not going to use Hammer Rot here. This is what, this is the problem with showcasing Amon. <laughs> this is the problem with showcasing Amon on, on, on this. The rest of the team just carries it. And we never get to use it. Because the other five are, re are just really strong. So if you're not leading Samurott and to show what it can do, it's it's really difficult to kind of justify it. But because it, it was good into this, like it was it was definitely a good a good like backup into this because it had Ty Tyranitar, it had fire types, like all that stuff. <laughs> like the rest of the team just took like, took care of it. But all right, let's go to the next one. Oh well, this is an interesting team for sure. Ooh, this is a very scary looking team. Very interesting looking team though. With that Zoroark. Zoroark could slap me around a little bit. That's true. But we do have the Dragon Terra. I might just do these two honestly. A little day. What with these two? Harkonnen looks okay here. Esther Luna wouldn't be bad, but at the same time, it's not that good either. Really? Okay, well, because because Luna has a lot of things to deal with here, and it's not it's not going to be slower under Trick Room in case they go Trick Room. Really, one at least gives me assault vest. So. As long as we get rid of one of the trick room users, I think it's okay. That's why I'm going with the hammer rot gold angle play, because we can always terrestrialize the gold dango. You can always terrestrialize gold dango here. 
Mm, I think that's okay. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, I'm just gonna make it rain and I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go for a ceaseless edge on this thing. Simple enough, we just don't want Trick Room up. If he protects, perfect. Because he is in a bit of a tight spot here. If he doesn't, if he doesn't call it right here, he kind of just loses his bear too. So I'm hoping he protects, because a protect would be a, pro a safe play for him. Okay, yeah. Fine with me. I just hope he's not Terra like fire or something. Okay, it's still gonna hurt this thing. Yeah, it's gonna tear. Oh, I'm tearing. Oh yeah, because I'm faster. This does mean I'm weak to this uh, ugly, ugly Azumarill right now, but I think that's fine. We're probably gonna switch out anyways. Oh, it's this thing. Okay, yeah. Good thing I went. For well, yeah, it's fine. Stoned. <laughs> that did a lot of damage though. Okay, so we know he has the dude in the back though. And that's gonna be really nice to have as well for later. It's not gonna double KO, but I mean, it's still gonna do a lot of damage. I'm cool with that. Yeah, Zora copying into Feridraf. <laughs> I mean, you tricked me, sure, but it didn't do anything because of my lead. So even if, if that was the case, at least now I know that Feridraf is in the back. Goes back into the bear. Okay. I don't know if make it rain. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. Make it rain. Just KO this fat guy. I kind of want to just go for like another another success on this slot though. Fair enough. Okay. I wonder if you protected the Azumarill then. No, you didn't. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's not gonna KO, but that's we're not looking for a KO here. We're just going for the uh, spikes and to just get rid of the Aqu Aqua Dude. Beautiful. That's huge. Hyper voice, does this KO both of them? If it does, we have we have our solid backline, yeah. Yeah, Samurai is not that strong. <laughs> so I expected it to go down. Didn't get touched the whole time, but it's it's not a very good Pokemon, so I expected it to go down to Ursaluna. Ursaluna's broken, so that's fine. Okay, we're gonna go into Arcanine here. And Rillaboom. Just call it a day. I guess it really depends if this even KOs. I think my plan here is just to Flare Blitz Woodhammer and I just win the game. Right? There's no need for Rock Sights. Flare Blitz should just take this thing out. At that range, it does. Woodhammer maybe KOs this? I'm not sure. It could protect, but like... This should cover... Any any protects or anything that he does. Yeah, there goes that. Bye-bye. There goes our Saluna. Well, at least Hammer put up spikes. That does help. Honestly, that does help. So I'm, I'm cool with that. The little is especially if this KOs. If this KOs, this, this definitely helped. It does not KO, okay. Well, Amorite, you did nothing. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you did practically nothing. Golden would pretty much carry that that first uh thing. Oh, it didn't even go for the Trick Room, that's silly. What made you think I wouldn't just I had I have two hard hitting mons here. What made you think 
that I wouldn't just do what I did. Verbalis might have killed. Maybe. I don't think so, though. Grassy Turing boosted Woodhammer, Choice Bandit, Flare Bits. I don't know what would hit harder there. But either way, GG, we won. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Sand Rush stuff, huh? Fair enough. Fair enough. Are we fast? Is, is this dude faster than what's his face? Is my question. It's 126. How fast is um, what's his face though? That's something I need to figure out. It's good drill. And then we go for Jolly just to see. 252. It's 140, so yeah, that's a that's a little problem. Now ain't it? Not fast enough. I mean they might be if we're lucky they might not be that thing though. We're definitely gonna go this though. 140, 126. If it's Adamant, what is it? Oh that's that's without Adamant. Uh oh Adamant, it's yeah, we're we're not faster. Ew. Okay. Ew. We're not faster. Ho <laughs> ho. Well then. This is a little tricky, isn't it? We're not faster, even if it's adamant. All of our mons are slower than it. So we gotta go with the intimidate factor here. And we're gonna we're gonna intimidate and then we're gonna We might switch. Oh they're not even gonna do that, okay. Oh they went oh they got me. They absolutely got me here. Fair enough. I lose. He's not he's not stinky. Alright, well I think we lose. We didn't we didn't bring Rillaboom, yeah. I think we lose here. What well, hits harder? I'm gonna assume Terra Blast this. It's harder. I don't know if this is gonna KO, but we're gonna go for it. I don't really have a choice. I think we pretty much lose at this point. I have no face in Hammer out to be able to clear this up otherwise. Oh yeah, that did no damage. At least it didn't give it another damn thing. Oh yeah, that was not enough. Arcanine the voids, which is nice. That's actually a big avoid because we would have lost right off the bat. Maybe not lose, but we definitely would have been in a lot of trouble. Might protect here if he has it. I feel like just tailwind. No, we could protect here. Oh shoot. Protect. Or we could go for the uh the funny dude. We'll go for a Terra Blast. Nice. Okay, I predicted that. I don't know why you would save it. The whole point was to get that plus two plus two. Did you did you tear out your, your Tyranitar? That'd be smart. No. I was expecting a protect, that's why I went for this. But a switch out is perfectly fine with me as well. Just give me the Tyranitar then. Like I said, that that miss bailed me out. Like he he got me. He absolutely got me there. With that with that play. And since it didn't K since Arcanine wasn't able to KO, is Arcanine not max attack on this one? It's not. Yeah, if it was max if it was max attack, we actually do KO there. Funny enough, we do KO if we were max attack. Okay, I'm gonna Tailwind here, and I'm just gonna let this guy go, I guess. 
Hmm. Do we have to though? Kinda do. Yeah. It's fine. I don't want my Ursulina to take damage here. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it went for make it rain. That's fine. Remember, we're not fast enough though. I really expected a nasty plot, but that's fine, I guess. I wonder what Terra this thing is. Is it steel or ground? Because my best bet here is to probably just go for Aqua Cutter in this slot. You could also protect, right? No, I don't think protect would be a good idea here. Yeah, there's two turns of, of, of that. I think I'll go for Aqua Cutter and Earth Power on this. Switches to Melodic, fine. But remember, we're not faster than this thing. So Hammer has a lot to do here. We'll see Terra Astalizing, because I went for one or the other here. It's probably... Oh, it's called Dango at minus one? Really? Okay. Good thing I went for the right targets here. Wow, it's sashed. Yeah, <laughs> it's Sash. Sash, it's not even uh, Choice Bandit. Okay, I'm not too worried. I could be worried if I get flinched here. Cool, no flinch. Would I be mad if I got flinched? Yes, but would I deserve it? Yes. So I wouldn't, I, I'd be mad, but I would deserve it because of the of the miss with the Rock Side that he got. At the same time, you know what? You're, you're playing Rock Side, I, I shouldn't even feel bad. <laughs> I shouldn't feel bad anyways. Now I just protect here. I absolutely just protect. He, he probably... Oh, that's a really nice title, by the way. Topaz the Vintage Beauty. I'm not gonna lie, that's a really pretty name for the uh, Milotic. That's an ast astounding, beautiful name for a Milotic. I actually like it very much. Yeah, we protect here. Just because then, then we get Sandstorm out of the way. We should still have one. To I mean, they could protect too, though. That's the only problem. So I guess that's not the best play for me. Oh, I recovered. Oh, I didn't think it would, I didn't think you'd be ballsy enough to do that. That's crazy. Now he protects, right? Cause I'm just gonna go for ceaseless edge. Hyper voice. Yeah. He probably double protects here because my tail one probably runs out right there. Oh no. That did not do a lot of damage though, Hammer Out. You're kind of underwhelming, not gonna lie. Thank you, Arsenal, for being broken. I appreciate it. Because Hammer Out, man. You're 252, 252 with a boosting ability and you do tickle damage. It's kind of rough. Kind of rough. But honestly, the only reason I won was because the rock side missed. Because it allowed me to play the way I did. I knew I knew my Lodic either had to protect or leave. So that gave me the free leeway on the Tyranitar. But yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's just get on to the outro. One thing I forgot to mention, and like I apologize, Evan. Because, I, like I said, I, I record really late. So, forgive me for forgetting. But yeah, this team was by Evan. Our good friend Evan. Like, you already know Evan. He's a really good player. Really great team builder. Like, his teams are top-notch. But let, let's be real. Hammerod is... Hammerod is Hammerod, man. <laughs> Hammerod is Hammerod. The rest of the team is really solid, though. Like, it, it helps. It does a lot. But, I mean, Samurai can do its thing. If there's times two. If it's times two, then this thing is going to one-shot everything, right? But what doesn't... Almost, almost a lot of things one shot at times too. So it's it's a very underwhelming mon. 
which is unfortunate, but it's because the base the base damage isn't there. I think honestly, if you go with a coaching set on Samurai, it might actually do good. I'll be quite honest, I think a coaching set could be very interesting on Samurai. Because then it kinda like mitigates the whole bad of Samurai. So if you can just get a coaching onto it, oh man, this thing could go ham. But either way, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. At least we got to use Samurai, that was like the big thing. Godango was cool. Rillaboom, like we got to use the whole team. Like the whole team came out. So I'm really, I'm always happy when the whole team just comes together and works, you know? It works and makes the hammer up, able to do stuff. So really good with that. I definitely got bailed out on the last one though. But anyways, guys, I think this is going to be my last video until the official rank releases. So probably for the rest of the week, you're probably going to just see Poke Chess videos. Because honestly, you guys seem to not like my VGC videos anymore anyways. I'll be honest, the Poke Chess community seems to like... Not only like my my Pokechess videos, but they uh they they like to uh backseat a lot, which which I'm okay with honestly. But the ones that like also curse me out, like bro, I am learning, please. That's how you turn away someone from your community. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.